Amen. We're not to fight with these, but we don't not let the men in the inside fight for us. There's a difference when God fight your battle. See, when God fight, he tell you to hold still. You see, that's tough. Because you want to fight, but God telling you to hold still. And you feel like you're losing because, hallelujah, you holding still. And it's like they get the advantage of you. It's the, it's the thought it looked like you're losing. And since you look like you're losing, you're ready to, 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 to do it your way. My way ain't never worked in nothing that God had for me to do. Hallelujah. Look at this. Go to Genesis 1 and 26. Let, let me share this thought with you. And you, you, it may take you a minute to get, get to us. So I give it to you early. It was at the bottom of the list. But listen, you have to thank God in order to thank God. You, 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 you'll get it before the message is over. See, if I thank God, I can thank God. But a lot of us don't thank God, so we can't thank God. So your response is based on you and not how God will respond. Y'all with me? Genesis 1 and 26 is a very powerful uh, scripture that you got to consider when you're trying to walk this walk. I think one of the biggest things that happens, the church is the greatest institution in the world, period. The true church is the greatest in institution in the world, period. There's no, there's no doubt in me. When they say prison reform, you know the word of God reforms you. Hallelujah. That's what reforms you. 1 to 26. Uh, what is it? God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. He's going to make him in his image in what? After our likeness. So I got to look like him and I got to act like him. Uh-huh. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea mm -hmm. and over the fowl of the air. So God made this man to look like him and to act like him. When you think about the image of man, it was different from everything else that was in the garden. Amen. Adam didn't look like the monkey. Adam didn't look like the giraffe. Adam didn't look like the zebra, the gazelle, or whatever else was there. He was different. He was different, hallelujah, because God articulated that man not only with his hands. It's the only thing God physically touched. In the book of Genesis. And then on top of that. He breathed in this man. And he became. Something different. As he became a living soul. Uh, contrary to public belief. But I think mankind is the only thing. That got a soul in them. Amen. And then when he breathed in this man. He gave this man the ability. To do as he do. God never had a problem. With Adam ruling over anything because he gave him dominion and it wasn't God's problem didn't come with Adam until it, uh, it came to him. oh we got to mess with old Eve this morning <laughs> Eve decided she wanted to go out in that garden and bring Adam back something and according to the scripture uh, go to Genesis chapter 3 but I want, I want you to get this concept of, I want you to know your battles knowing your battles will make you different and see, Eve didn't understand what the enemy was attacked. The, the enemy attack was on Adam and not her per se, but the attack was really on Adam. Read Genesis chapter 3. You can start at uh, verse 4, if you will. Uh, verse 3. But of the fruit of the tree, mm -hmm. which is in the midst of the garden, in the middle of the garden, God has said, God have said, ye shall not eat of it, uh -huh. neither shall ye touch it. Uh -huh. Lest ye die. Lest you die. And the servant said unto the woman, uh -huh. Ye shall not surely die. You are not going to die. He's taking God's word. First of all, God didn't say what she said. You go over there and get some time. You go back over there to Genesis chapter 2, around 16, 17. She, she didn't say what God said, first of all. That's, that's the whole misconception. She paraphrased, and what the devil said is, You're not going to surely die. Uh huh. For God doth know. Mm -hmm. That in the day ye eat thereof, mm -hmm. then your eyes shall be opened, mm -hmm. and ye shall be as God. You shall be as what? God. This was God's problem with the tree, with, uh, with 
out of the heat. It wasn't. Uh, it, it 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 wasn't that he can rule everything. He gave him authority over everything. He gave him dominion. In fact, the lion was scared of him. We scared of the lion. Amen. I'm scared of the dog. He's a little dog. He got teeth. But God gave Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve, authority over that. But Eve's job was to follow her husband. Some got out of whack. Yeah. Sometimes another song say she was out there hanging out clothes. And the servant came to him. Adam was watching TV. I don't, I don't know, but I just know Eve was by herself when that uh, servant approached her. And she didn't know what she was fighting. She didn't have proper, uh, she didn't know how to ID. This is why God put people in our life that have been places and seen things so they help us identify what we can't. So, hallelujah, he sent, he sent, you, you, you know, he sent the preacher, he sent the teacher, he sent the leaders. Because they got to teach us about something we don't even know about. Come on, I'm not too far fetched. They give us parents, natural parents, to teach babies. Hallelujah. So, what, what, and what our job is to teach the opposition. It's a little different in the church because when you teach the opposition in the church, people feel like you're judging or you just don't have no compassion. Mm -hmm. But my mama told me about lives going to hell and she beat me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> help me out with lying to her. They ain't help me out lying to nobody else. They maybe not lying to her. <laughs> Hallelujah. I still like to you, man, all that stuff at one point. But, but when God law came, he teach me not a lot of nobody. Amen. So there was a law that came greater than my mama law. There was a whooping that hurt a lot harder than my mama whooping. And there's a jail that was worse than the jail grade could have put me in. Hallelujah. It's called hell. Amen. So I had to figure out this thing. I had to figure out me so I can understand what I'm fighting. I used to watch this cartoon called G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. And one of the phrases they used to say at G.I. Joe, knowing is half of the battle. Mm -hmm. You don't know half of your battle because you don't even know the battle you fight. You figure you're just going through. True. You figure it's just you. You figure it's just a decision. Some of that's parchment. But the devil is fighting you. Glory be to God because what God had for you. And if I can just get in your mind long enough, if I can just get in your spirit deep enough, Praise God. We may have some strength when we leave here this day. Amen. You just got to know that I, I lift your hands right now and say, victory is mine. Victory, victory is, is mine. mine. And so most people get stuck on, oh, this is me, but they don't get stuck on what I'm created for. I live a life much different now than a few years ago. I live a life now where I'm trying to live life on purpose. I'm trying to live life, Lord, what do you have me to do? What do you have me to say? Even so much, where do you have me to go? What do you want me to teach my kids? What do you want me to do this? It's, it's a purpose for why I'm here. And I had to first get this relationship with this Savior, this God that I heard so much about, but it seemed like he was never there when I needed to heard somebody say he on time, even when he ain't on time. I had to learn how to trust, hallelujah, this God that seemed like I was going through pure hell. And this, this God, I had to learn how to trust. If he can make it better, why ain't he? I had to learn how to trust this God, praise God, that I'm broken and see like I'm suffering and the people that's, 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 that's doing what they want to see like they're doing better. Amen. 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 They took me over to that scripture, pray not that self but other evil doers. <laughs> Turn my heart. But knowing the battle will help you with the battle. Knowing the law giver and not just the law help you understand the law. Hallelujah. Knowing the purpose of the law, it helps you obey the law. And a lot of times, uh, what we tend to do, we take it and since we don't understand it, I found this very powerful thing that people fight when they don't understand, not just when they don't like, but when they don't understand it, they have the purpose to fight it because they don't understand it. It don't make sense to me. Go to Romans 8 and 14, and I got to be honest with you, uh, uh, this flesh was never for me to get comfortable in, and we talk about Jesus, and uh, we talk about God coming in flesh. God understood his assignment. He understood that he was never to get comfortable in that flesh. 
he understood that he had to come and die for a world, hallelujah, and the flesh was the only way. And I'm here to tell you this morning, what you're going through in your natural life is just a test to get you out your flesh, hallelujah. It's a test that God can elevate you higher, praise God. It's a test that God can show the devil that, hey, he can really make it. She can really make it, praise God. It's a test that somebody needs to see that there's a real living God today. You know, back in the day, you know, in my day, the TV, they used to run this test every now and again, you know? And come on and say, Bee! Well, it's not a test. It's only a test. And, you know, I was thinking on that. But while the test was going through, the TV was making a noise. But, Ella, what that got to do with me? Listen, while you're going through your test, why don't you open your mouth and make some noise? Why don't you say thank you, Jesus? Why don't you say hallelujah? Why don't you say, Lord, I still love you? Listen, it was just a test. I found that God will put you in situations where he'll let you try some stuff on, but he'll let you get it. He lets you try it on and you look in the mirror and you like what you see, but he say, that ain't yours. <laughs> and it makes you feel a certain type of way. And then I learned every now and then, praise God, I'm talking about these, these, these spirit folk, these spirit filled folk, every now and then, God will lead you to a place, hallelujah, he'll let you get in your wilderness and you say, well, Lord, I prayed, I fast, I did all this stuff, why I get here? Because God tried to test you. And you got to know when I'm being tested. See, understanding the battle will help you. You got to know when you fight you and when you fight the devil. And some of this stuff we blame the devil for, it's us and it ain't the devil. And you can't get victory because it's you, praise God. Amen. Now, the devil, that's a different thing. We, we can put the name of Jesus on him, but fighting you, you got to make up your mind. Hallelujah. The man say, Lord, keep testing me. Lord, keep testing, testing me. I heard somebody that was giving the testimony. And they say, uh, I'm proving it. I'm, I'm proving the Lord. See, we don't we don't understand that text. When I'm proving the Lord to be Lord, I'm going to do just where you said it. I'm going to go the way you go look for it. You tell me I'm going to get a red car. Every red car I see, I'm looking at it. Praise God. And I'm so, uh, uh, in my mind, I'm so simple. I may touch every red car. He say, Lord, is that mine? Praise God. That's proving God. Yeah. The church then got to a place now where name it, claim it, and be through with it. <laughs> Hallelujah, that God wants us to prosper, but we got to get off this name and claim it and put a name on it, hallelujah, and keep moving. We done got to the point now the preacher don't take the time to deal with the people that got to the point. Praise God, the people don't even deal with the people. They come, say the song, collect the offering, and go oh, home. Yeah. But praise God, we got to go back to the old yeah. man way. We got to go back to what God has us to be. And we got to love and we got to encourage and we got to push one another. Yes, hallelujah. You ought to look at your name and say, help me through my test. And the thing I learned about God, see, God had given you a cheat sheet. Hallelujah. He'll let somebody else go through. He gave us a bottle full of He gave us a whole book, uh, 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 a whole cheat sheet in this book. I watched what Job went through. I watched what Abraham went through. I watched what Isaac went through. I watched what Matthew went through. I watched what Ezekiel went through. And praise God, they came out with the victory. And if you want the victory, you got to trust the God. Say, Lord, I do trust you. Lord, I Think about this. Think about it. How can a God so amazing, so wonderful, decide to become something less than what he really is? He went against his nature. God's nature is holy. He went against holy nature and got in the body. Now, I don't care what you say. Oh. Your body ain't holy, but you do. That's why God got to come in you to make your outward appearance to appear to what's in you. So, a holy God put on flesh. Walked the earth for 33 some years. Talked about, slapped, denied. We talk about church folk today, but what about the boss? They put sucker. Turned it back on him. Praise God, he chose the devil according to the book of John. Haven't I chosen one of you twelve and one of you a devil? 
But he came. He was talking in the office today, spit and slapped. Stripped him neck and humped him on the cross. And he didn't do nothing. He took it. The Bible says he opened up his mouth and said a word. Praise God. But this God is so merciful. He did it for, uh, we say rich. I think I was about three and a half riches. <laughs> but he did it for me. And he didn't do it, praise God, for me. So I can just live how I want to. He did it for me so I can return and give him back my life because he gave me his. He said, I died for you. Now I want you to die for me. Now I don't want you to get on the cross and die for me. What I want you to do is take up your cross and follow me. And if you follow me in the word and somebody following you, go follow me, you, me, uh, follow you to me. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. So there's God in the flesh. I read in the scripture, he said, hey, you think I can call a legion of angels? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is so powerful. According to the book of John, I think that's 14, right? That's 17 chapter. He say, uh, listen, if you're looking for the one who sent me, you're looking at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it, who sent me? So he sent this self. That's, that's different because I don't know about y'all that y'all pray for me. I ain't got that mind yet. I ain't even been to run in the middle of Afghanistan talking about saving a soldier. They better send that helicopter. I'm not bulletproof. Hallelujah. I ain't been to jump out there with a bunch of other ass get crazy out there. I get on about my business. I don't even stop and look at car wrecks. <laughs> my wife and children, they get a fascinated. They don't, when I'm driving, I don't even look. I keep right on going. Said it gets red. Okay, the police coming. Keep right on going. Why? I'm minding my business. I don't know. You know, nowadays people shoot people for, for driving crazy up here. You cut them off, they shoot you. I ain't got time. I ain't got to do stuff. Sometimes I don't even look over. I just keep looking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But think about a God that put on dirt. The same dirt. Wow. Yeah, what you trying to tell me? Listen, he became just like you just to save you. Yeah. He became you to save you. Now he wants you to become him to stay saved. Mm -hmm. Don't walk around talking about you know God, you're going to die. <laughs> you got a God in you. You got to deal with that man that's in that heart. It's a, it's a wicked man in your heart that we don't talk much about. But there's a wicked man there, hallelujah, that ain't coming straight now. And I need help in my heart. I need help in my mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. These thoughts that be running through my mind, praise God, I can't do nothing but pray. Hallelujah. Yeah, the preacher, I can't do nothing but pray. Because hallelujah, sometimes we get we get so deep and we act like we can't be real with the world, praise God. But there's some things that we got to pray about too, hallelujah. There's some things I got to get down and say, Lord, you got to forgive me for that thought. Because if I would have acted on that thought, I would have been on jail. Everybody would have been talking about it. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to have, listen, if you think, you can think like this. Go with me quickly. This brings you over here. See, once you realize how good God been, uh, Romans 8 and 14, when, when you realize how good God been and what God did for you, hallelujah, it makes you want to praise for the world. The world, it's, it's something different out in the world. I thought, I thought, I thought it couldn't get no worse. <laughs> it's like every time you turn on the news, it was worse. It's going to be worse tomorrow than it is today. <laughs> I love the news. I think I'm the only one in the crowd. I watch news like some of y'all watch. Uh, you want them TV shows? What it is? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, y'all be on Instagram. I be on the news. That's my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> my Insta chat too. That, that, that's the news. Uh, yeah, whatever they got on that bottom, that's what I'm, that's the tweet I'm reading. CNN, ABC, NBC, and I think that's just, that's my way of staying true to what's going on in the world. So I sit there and I watch the news and God allowed me to see like this thing, this thing going to come to an abrupt end pretty soon. Yes, we don't talk. The world ain't forever. Amen. 
And heaven, is, heaven ain't even forever. My mama said, I made mean, my mama depressed when I go to her house. She said, but I can't watch this stuff. Julia is just too depressing. I said, Mom, that's what's pressing me. And every now and then I got a reminder. Mom, that could have been me that that headline could have been about. That could have been me. That that casket that they rolling down, that could have been me. Hallelujah. But I'm so good. I'm so glad God is so good and so faithful to me. 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. You got the spirit of what? Adoption. I mean, I, I, you know it's different when you have a baby versus when you adopt a baby. Mm -hmm. Most, most, in my community, most of them were trying to add a baby. He got crazy. Oh, you was hit by accident. I don't think it was no accident. It was an incident that caused me to be here. It was no accident. I said, oh, baby, come here. Got into something. And that relationship produced something. See? But it's different when you go down there, you go to the adoption agency, you go looking for something. I'm looking to be a parent or something. God came down looking for us and said, listen, I'm going to adopt you. In my family, and then the thing that I love about adoption, you got to think about that 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 coat that you see on the shelf. You go on the quick trip, they got about thirty coats. He said, mm, "I want this one." I don't see people skip over the first one, go back three or four just to get the one out the back. Nobody's it's cold. But the fact of it is, you was just like that 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 bag of chips, like M and M's, that was in the packet. God chose you out of the box. Chose you. It could have been the other one. It could have been that one. But he chose you. And sometimes we forget to just praise him because he chose for us. And I submit to you today. See, when you know the battle, and we're knowing the battle, know if, this, if the devil could have beat you, he would have done bitch because he don't play games. The Bible says in my book, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You steal him. You ain't dead. Huh. Huh. You ain't destroyed. Huh. And you ain't stolen because you made it back to your life. You ought to tell God, thank you. You know, if the devil really had his way with you, you would have been one of the three. But praise God, you ain't neither one of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing the battle. Knowing when I got victory. Knowing how to, see, we, again, we got to know how to fight. You, gotta, see, you can't fight the devil with this. You can't even fight you with these. Because if you're going to cut yourself, I'm going to say you're crazy. But if you take the word and cut yourself, I'm going to say you're in the book. The Bible says the word is sharper. Yes. Yes. Any two-edged swords. If you throw rocks at yourself, I'm going to say you're crazy. Hallelujah. But the Bible, Jesus is the cornerstone. If you take this word and keep throwing it back at yourself, 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 listen, you can't be but overcome. You got to know how to kill what you think you are so you can see what you really is. Tell them about I got more living to do. Hallelujah. We got to lose. I'm getting out your way, but the Bible deal with it. The book of day deal with it. The devil want to wear down the saints. He want to wear out the saints. I learned, I learned this from my kids. They got this method. You can tell them no. They'll come back and ask for the same thing you just told them no for. <laughs> then you tell them no again, they come right on back. And then ask for the same thing again. And then they got the they got a way of, of getting it. Hey Amen. I've been praying that God for scripting this here. They got they got a certain face. They come looking at you. And I had an ice cream sandwich. You just know that's the last one. They done ate 10 of them. There's only 12 in the box. <laughs> You know, eight, ten, and somebody else ate once, well, only was one or two left. They say, Daddy, can I have that last ice cream sandwich? And I said, we just put, I told put one back for your mom and one back for me. Y'all had ten other ones. But they were got to the point where you go and get an ice cream sandwich, leave me alone. Just get it. I'm tired of y'all eating those stuff. He don't care nothing else I said because he don't got the ice cream sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you all you want to. That's how the devil do you. 
The devil want to wear you out. See, that's why you got to keep going back. And every now and then, glory be to God, that's why you say, stand still and see. Hallelujah. Because when you stand still, you get a better vision. I can see more standing still. Yes, sir. I go to move and then my peripheral and all that stuff changes. I got to really, I can't really see. But if I stand still, I can observe my scene. Yes. If I observe my scene, I can, I can take some time. I can fuck up and I need some sense. Someone's getting in the rug and say, I got anxiety. I got anxiety. I don't know what to do. This, 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 sit still for a minute. And look around. So this is what I need to be doing. And the devil wearing us out because of what we don't know. The devil fights you out of what you, your ignorance is his fight. Oh, yes, he uses it. He ain't no different in America. What you don't know, America using against you. Back to that, the white people in jail. You go get a lawyer, and that lawyer put the law on the uh, 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 what you call it, prosecutor. Then he got to come back and rebut. Say, hold on, he wasn't wrong there, you were wrong. And what the devil do? The devil hold you in your past, and you can't get over your past because the devil keep putting that imagination in you. But my God, you got to declare some victory. You got to say, I'm greater than my past. Hallelujah! I'm greater than the present moment I'm in because my future is bright. About this is a divine plan. Wow. You gotta understand it's a fight, but it's fixed. It's fixed. How you know it's fixed? Because Jesus told me I win in the end. He said, just like I came down from heaven, put on that flesh, and died and got out of that body, praise God, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna go through something, but this ain't the end for you because it's gonna be a better time. You're gonna come out of this body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn to fight. Learn to fight. Learn to fight. The brain controls the body, but the brain don't go nowhere. Your brain do everything in your body, but it's in one place. Your hand got, you see, as though your hand got more activity than your brain. It seems that way. But the hand can't move without the brain. The legs can't move without the brain. Amen. Can't do it. The brain tells the body how to function. You do. Let me show you something. I know we did this demonstration before. I want you to say your ABCs. Say your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E. I ain't trying to test you. Now I want you to count. I want you to count while you're saying your ABCs. I want. I want to see you do it. Can you? You can't even think both of them at the same time. <laughs> Say your ABCs. Say your ABCs in your head. You try to count. You can't do it. Why? Because your it's bigger and all that function your brain do, it can't focus on two tasks. People say multitasking, and what they really mean, I gotta back away from something and get to something else and come back to what I left in the same point. That's multitasking. The, 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 the computer try to show us, hey man, how you multitask. You gotta put one window down and bring another window up. Hey Amen. But it's split screen, but it's what's what's going on. You still can't focus on two areas of that screen. You gotta come back, back and forth. They had a job like that. I had to quit that job. <laughs> well, it feels like too much light work. <laughs> they got two computers on the two things on the desk. Like, Man, then you can drag it over and all. Like, Man, I can't do this. Working for the I can't do this. It just it take too much. It's too much. I went home, took my walk, and I ain't been back since. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I, I had to listen to it. I can't watch it. People have to watch it. But what I'm saying, now, this is the point I want you to see. Now, when you're feeling low, if you open up your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus, what you're feeling, you can't even really feel it like you want to. You can't. Because your mind, the activity in your mind changes. Your mind goes to automatic praise. You could be going through something, you say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, for a moment, that thing gone. You see, that's why he said in the name of Jesus, every knee shall. So that the devil that's, that's fighting, sometimes you got to make your knee bow in your head. We playing the devil again. Some of that stuff up. You got to know that. Amen. The Bible says when a man is brought away with his own 
That's the thing. We lust that thing. We get mad at God and we say, Lord Jesus. But he said, I don't need no more than you can bet. Well, I got you. Hold up. Go back over there to Galatians 5 and 19. You find your flesh. But get out your way. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Mm -hmm. Which are these? Which are these? Adultery, uh, fornication, fornication, uncleanness, uncleanness lasciviousness, lasciviousness, idolatry, idolatry witchcraft, mm -hmm. hatred, hatred, variance, serious. emulation, uh -huh. wrath, wrath, strife, strife sedition, heresy, envy, murder, drunkenness, drunkenness reveling, and, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, uh -huh. As I have also told you in time past, uh -huh. that they which do such things uh -huh. shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now go back to the beginning of verse 19. Now the works of the flesh. So these are the what? The works of the flesh. This is why Jesus came and died. So when he said, I give you rest, he was telling us we ain't got none of that work of the flesh no more. So that works of the flesh, praise God. Now we understand the Sabbath. Rest is we ain't got to work the flesh no more. We work the spirit. Amen. Amen. And so the work of the flesh, they come. See, this is why people don't understand true repentance. Because we, we, you can't repent for what you were when you were born. You can't do that. If if I was born with diabetes or sugar, whatever you call it, amen, you can't blame me for that. Even though it may be a, uh, a, a treatment or a cure for something like that, hey amen, you can't, and I find that just changing your diet, but there's really no cure for that. You can't blame that child for that. I'll give you a better one. The baby born with AIDS, who are you going to blame? The baby or the parent? I'm blaming the parent. You were born with a sin nature. Not your fault. It's Adam and Eve's fault. Adam listened to Eve, ate off that tree, Amen. And it made us all sinners. So a lot of times when we teach in repentance, I think the problem comes with repentance, we don't understand sin and sin. Uh, sins and sin. So we repent for sin and we should be baptized for sin and repenting for sins. Y'all follow me? And so the, in order to get a true understanding of repentance, you got to understand the type of sin. It's going back to these battles. See, the devil don't care about you being in. He don't care about you serving him in but he knows as long as the sin factor in you, you never deal with the sin factor in you. Can, you can come to church all you want to. It's still going to produce sin. Mm -hmm. That's the factory. I go to the Toyota factory. I want a Toyota. You see. And this is, this is you, you, you can write it down. I won't spend a whole lot of time on this. But there's two types of sin. You got the endemic sin, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got, you, 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 you got the committed sin. The endemic sin is what I'm born with. The committed sin is what I did, the lie, the cheat, that the works of the flesh. That's the stuff that's in me. That's the stuff I ask God to forgive me for. Amen. I can't ask God to forgive me what my parent gave me. If I slap Brother Ty, amen, and we for you to say you're sorry, I need to say I'm sorry. Right. You see? And since Adam, he gone, y'all, y'all. We talk about Adam, but he's gone back to glory. Amen. amen. He made it. He made it. He can't go back and say, Adam can't say, so God give us a message. He say, listen, I tell you what. Since the creation came and Adam supposed to be everybody's father, your father gave you a sin nature, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to allow you to be born again. I'm going to allow this process called the baptism and the infill of the Holy Ghost so you can be born again. Amen. So, 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 I'm not, I'm not out of the Bible. Uh, uh, get Genesis 2 and 17. Y'all give me a few minutes. I'm getting out your way. 2 and 17. 2 and 17. I know, I know it was a little warm, but y'all was out there that looking all good at that wedding yesterday in that sun. Y'all was sweating. Praise God. Try y'all best to stay cool. But y'all was there. And I was there with you. 2 and 17. What of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? The tree of knowledge of good and evil? Thou shalt not eat of it. Uh -huh. For in the day that thou eatest thereof. You got to read this text. Play it. You say, in the day. In the day. Not the day, but in that day. Uh -huh. In the day uh -huh. that thou eatest thereof, mm -hmm. 
Thou shalt surely die. You go away. Die. When he gonna die? In that. Day. He didn't say that day, did he? He say in the day. Is he? Now, 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 you gotta understand something. A day that God is a thousand years before the book of the future. One day that God is a thousand years. How old did Adam live? Nine hundred away. Thirty-seven. One of somebody. Did. Get, get First John five and sixteen. So that sin that Adam did, the only cure for that sin that Adam did was death. That's the only that was the only cure for it. How you ask God to forgive you for something you ain't do? First John five and sixteen. If any man see his brother mm -hmm. sin a sin, uh -huh. which is not unto death, uh -huh. he shall ask, uh -huh. and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. Uh -huh. There is a sin unto death. Look, 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 look. You got to see how this feels. There is a what? Sin. A sin. Now, we talking about if you, you rob and do all that, that's unto death. Yeah, they'll leave the devil under the lifestyle. But he said there is a sin. It's one. Singular. A sin unto death. I do not say. I do not say. That he shall pray for well, it. Well, if there's a sin unto death and Adam got the sin that he got to die for, how do he get forgiveness from this sin? He can't ask God. They got this thing called the sin of Christ. You step, I don't know it. But they say you step for me. You got things in order. So they say, Lord, this is some, 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 some. And God saved you. That's a lie. If he's telling me not to pray for it, how do I fix it? Hallelujah. Now watch. Go to John 1 and 29. I'm moving fast. I'm trying to get you out of here. 1 and 29. There's a sin unto death that you can't pray for. But Jesus did something for this sin. You got to remember a sin, and you got to remember sins, the works of the flesh. Sins. Sins. Uh -huh. The next day, uh -huh. John seeth Jesus uh -huh. coming unto him. Coming unto him. And saying, uh -huh. Behold, uh -huh. the Lamb of God, uh -huh. which taketh away uh -huh. the sin of the world. What is he taking out of the world? Sin. Sin. He ain't taking sins out of the world? Y'all know he was. And you know, just from just from a basic Bible standpoint, they had a way of dealing with sins in the Old Testament. They'll stone you, they'll burn a goat, a uh, bullock or something. They were dealing with sins. They couldn't deal with the sin nature. But they say, the Lamb of God come to take away what? The sin, the sin of the world. Of the world. This is he of whom I say, uh -huh. after me cometh a man which is preferred. In, in Romans chapter 6. And then this this way you see the Baptist. And we 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 talk a lot that oh, you gotta be baptized, you gotta be doing all this stuff. But what we don't understand is if I'm telling you that and, and I'm explaining to you why it don't do me no good. They talking about Rodney the King being they should have sent some of them beasts little deal game. <laughs> That's when they get you soon that was shit. <laughs> you got that towel, you hear that dope come over here. You trying to do this with the towel. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not their work. <laughs> made it worse. Yeah, let's shout it. What, what, what I'm saying? Amen. Y'all love the Lord? Give me a hand shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 6 and uh, 1. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? How is that spelled? Singular. Singular. Shall we continue in sin? Uh -huh. That grace may abound. Uh -huh. God forbid. Grace is the word. God gave us a word to be baptized. Go ye into all the world, teach them, uh, uh, teach them, uh, teach them, baptizing them in the name. Grace is the word. It's a message. It's a message. And I told y'all before, if I say, say grace, what you do? You say something. Grace is a message. And people say, oh, we say it by grace. Yeah, you tell by what, he, what grace told you to do. Grace said, come out from me morning, and be ye separate. Say the Lord, that's grace. Read some more of that. God forbid. Uh -huh. How shall we uh -huh. that are dead to sin? Dead to what? Sin. Now you know he ain't talking about this the, you, the, the committed sin. Because in my mind, I still think some stuff that I have to pray about. Amen. He say dead to sin. Meaning, when you dead to something, you can't no longer do it. So when I die to the endemic sin, it's no longer present with me. It's dead. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't dead to fornication, lying, adultery, robbing, backstabbing, murder, 
Give me another one of them things. Just don't say Good. Lying, cheating, stealing. Well, be a fight. You ain't dead to that. Y'all still be trying to turn it up. You ain't dead to turning it up. No. But you can be dead to the endemic sin. Reason why that he gonna tell you how to die to the endemic sin. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Uh -huh. Know ye not mm -hmm. that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? So when you got the baptism, what, what, what happened in that process? You died. See, a lot of times we just put, oh, you got to be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. But why? I don't know. The preacher told me I had to, so I did and to get bad at the preacher because you can't tell the preacher that tell you so. Don't even say the preacher said it. I don't say the book said it. Amen. But that, that baptism deals with that endemic nature. And if you never deal with the endemic, I had I got I got I got what they call them things, chromosomes. I got DNA from my mama's side and my daddy's side. My daddy was woo. My mom and they had problems over there too. Hallelujah. Man, I'm so glad God let me get another chromosome. He put something in my DNA called the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now I can do what my daddy couldn't do. And I can live like my mama wanted me to live. Because I had a DNA chain. I ain't talking bad about my folks. I'm just telling y'all the truth. My daddy was a tough man. Hallelujah. Now, when you're young, you admire that stuff. When you get old, then it kind of like hurts your heart. Like, yeah, you, you ain't have to do that. You ain't have to rob him. You, 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 you know. And I'm just being honest. And for a long time, I had to deal with the bitterness of that. But God gave me something to love. Love everybody. <laughs> despite of. Because he reminded me of me and what I was. Knowing my battles. Going my battles. Read some more of that. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. We're buried with him by what? Baptism into death. Mm -hmm. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead mm -hmm. by the glory of the Father, mm -hmm. even so we also mm -hmm. should walk in newness of life. We should walk out. In newness of life. Uh -huh. For if we have been planted together, and we've been what? Planted, planted together. together. Uh -huh. In the likeness of his death, uh -huh. we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Yeah, uh -huh. Knowing this, Knowing this that our old man is crucified with him, uh -huh. that the body of sin might be destroyed, uh -huh. that henceforth we should not serve sin. What about this is more than me just getting with it's taking the sin nature out of me. It's helping me in some areas I can't help myself in. There's some things you just ain't gonna do. So first of all, that was the last scripture. Go to John chapter 3, St. John 3. I'm closing here. 3 and 1. First of all, you can't see. You can't go what you can't see. How are you going to go to heaven if you can't see heaven? Amen. Because I be telling brothers, we close your eyes and walk through this church. You're going to tear something up. <laughs> you don't tear that chair. He might tear that chair. It's, yeah, it's shit. He's about to call it the chair. You know what I mean? I told you that thing. You big boy. <laughs> he just laughed. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Read. He just shook me, gave me a hug, like, he probably said, Pray for me, preach. <laughs> Read. There was a man of the Pharisees. There was a man of the Pharisees. Named Nicodemus. Named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. A ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night. Uh huh. And said unto him, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We know you are a teacher that come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, uh -huh. except God be with him. First of all, he acknowledged Jesus is God. That's the first part of the reading. Jesus answered and uh -huh. said unto him, uh -huh. Verily, 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 I say unto thee, I say this unto you. Except the man be born again, except he be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you, if you be born again, you can't do what? See, see the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. You see, 
how you gonna go somewhere you can't see? And you gotta be born again because you gotta take the sin back. Sin came to will in the presence of God, and we got the demic sin. That's how we get to God's presence. So you gotta get the demic sin out of you so you can dwell in God's presence. Y'all follow me? Amen. You know the committed sins ain't going with you because you leaving this body. You need this body to commit that and that more than that other sins you do. Yes, sir. Read some more. Nicodemus said unto him. Mm -hmm. How can a man be born when he is old? How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb uh -huh. and be born? And be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, uh -huh. except the man be born of water uh -huh. and of the Spirit. Now he just laid it out to him. You need the water and you need the Spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. If you're trying to heal, you need something. Amen. That's what the book says. I, I know what I was, and I know that's why I had to fight me for so long because I was blaming everybody but me. I, and I learned 80% of the stuff I was doing because I wanted to do it. I enjoy it. And then when I get in trouble, I go to trying to find Jesus. Praise God. And you got to make up in your mind, I can't wait until the trouble comes. I got to have Jesus with me every day. How many of you leave home without a cell phone? Sometimes. On purpose. Nobody? No. Nope. It's hard to function without that thing. That thing a part of your life. You pay bills on it. You talk on it. You play games on it. You can't use a gas station on. Don't think they got them no more. They don't. But you can't. Man, I see some people about to go crazy about their phone. Now, Jesus is the best connection you can have. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, Jesus is more important to me than my cell phone. I leave, home, I leave Jesus at the house and pick up my phone. And we don't understand that. No, I ain't calling your phone wicked. Don't you say that. But this phone gives us access to all type of wickedness. The same phone I call my wife on, Lord be to God, I can pull some mess up on. Hallelujah. It's a little different in this generation. So we got we to come with different methods with this generation. We have VCRs and CDs and and magazines, they got this. They don't need none of that. Right. They don't even go to the movies no more. <laughs> my God. They talking to people across the world. I told my son the other day, he was in the talk. I'm like, what are you talking to? <laughs> I say, oh, my friend. I say, no, you know what? He say, no, nah, we just friends on the game. I say, good. That's all y'all stay. <laughs> I say, you don't go nowhere. You don't tell him my address. And you, you don't tell him even so much your name. Tell him your name, Game Boy or something. Because <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's, that's how they get them. They're pulling them. And the problem is we're not advanced in their technology. Amen. they got a whole different world. And what I'm trying to tell you, the games that they'll tell say we're not ignorant of tech devices. He right. used the word devices. I think it was being very precise because of what's going on. we got to open our eyes. You can't open your spiritual eyes if you're not around a spiritual place. Amen. Wow. We gotta get out of this flesh. We gotta get in our spirits. And I'm not saying this to beat nobody up. I'm just telling y'all, church, it's time, man. The, 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 the street light's coming on pretty soon. It's time. Don't don't come back and offer God the, the, the remnants, the leftovers. Give God the best of you. Amen. Can you imagine if 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 I decide to get get be a bum and then want to get married. Mm -hmm. I waste all my good years. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm 93 and ready to get married. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, what I'm trying to tell you. That's how we do Jesus. We wait, we, we wait, we don't see all that and want to get married to Jesus. Lord, I done seen everything I can do. <laughs> Nobody want me no more. I guess I turn to you. <laughs> But you gotta be born of the water, and you gotta be born of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And I just encourage you this morning that if you have not made that step, have you not considered Christ died the death he wanted us to die? And he lived a life that he can be an, our, our example. Now he was baptized. And Somebody say that, that you, you know, that, 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 that when he was baptized, the father said that, no, that was his voice speaking to his voice. 
You know, then when you pray, it doesn't come out your mouth, but you hear your voice, you hear your voice in your head right now. Say, preacher, preacher, preacher. Amen. But I love you. I want to encourage you. If you haven't made those steps to give your life to God, amen. If anybody want prayer, come. I pray with you on today. If it's just for the for strength, if it's just for the peace in your mind, I feel that spirit this morning. You are battling in their mind. Don't feel like they're gonna lose it. Don't feel like I don't know which direction to go. I just I'm just tired. I'm tired of being tired. I I, I just need a door to open. But I believe if you come believing. God will open up the doors. God will give you that was took, and God will restore what was lost. And even before I come and pray with you, I want you to put in your spirit what you need God to do. 